You know, uh, Mad Dog's going to be on our show a little later this morning. Chris Russo uh, used to do with Mike and the Mad Dog here in uh, New York City. He's going to uh, he's going to hang with us for the first time, which is really cool. Yeah, because we're big fans of uh, Mad Dog. He's in the paper today because uh, they're they're asking a lot of sports. It was in the sports section. A lot of uh, sports people who they're voting for and why and stuff. And uh, Mad Dog had this to say: I voted for McCain. Tough call. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo thing. I have no problem redistributing uh, wealth, but I think there's an element of people sitting on their fannies. Let's go tax the wealthy up and down to make sure the guy on Main Street can sleep until 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that kind of thing. I think that element steered me to McCain. So pretty much saying what uh, Ann's saying. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to him stopping by today. Let's I am very, very happy to tell everybody that we got Chris Russo in studio. Uh, we've been fans of... Uh, Mad Dog. Not not so much Mike. I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I listened to the Mike and the Mad Dog uh, back when you guys were doing your thing and uh, to hear you. Well, I appreciate that, guys. But that partnership, Anthony, how are you, pal? Hi, great. Uh, that partnership lasted a long time, and I could not have sure. lasted that long without a good partner. So yeah. I appreciate that. But now you put me in a tough spot. That's... Mike finds out about it, and then it gets mad at me. So what are you going to do? Did, 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 did the story ever get back to you guys that we drank uh, Mike's wine and smoked his cigars? <laughs> oh, oh, did God. you? Well, I know. It I, never got back to you? The story did get back to us that you like to make fun of Mike. <laughs> we've been, we've and, been... You did, and you always imitated me and all the, the way I talk <laughs> yeah, and last. We referenced that. the story. Mikey, Mikey. Yeah, I always heard that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, this goes back uh, when we were at NAW, but we did some gig on Long Island at a really nice place, and uh, yeah. they sold lockers for for like uh, the big wigs. Where you kept your wine and cigars, and had yeah. a little uh, brass nameplate on there and everything. And uh, and we saw Mike's uh, locker. And Mike's had a locker at this place. Yeah, yeah. I he doesn't drink wine God. and eat cigars. Well, then I don't for know why he had this was... because he had this. And uh, the owner really liked us, and not so much uh, Mikey at the time. And he opened up the the, the locker, and so and you had, saw what was inside, and, and made, we, had a good bid on it for about a couple of weeks, right? We had at <laughs> yeah, it. We man. drank it. We had <laughs> at it. <laughs> and what a! This is an unbelievable studio. <laughs> Oh, I, mean, yeah. I can work here myself. You got TVs left and right. You got a little studio warning. Well, I know, isn't my it great? God. Well, why don't you tell stupid Scott Greenstein how nice it is because he's trying to get us out of here and and put us in the well. The rent's know, high, so save as a result, few bucks, I guess. Oh, that's what it comes down. to. You're yeah. broadcasting in a little box, oh, right? Box. And that's what they want to do with us. Oh, we can't. you need. It's going to be hard to go from here. To there. Yeah, we're gonna need room. We need room. We got this is a wonderful spot. Yeah. Most of the time, we need room because I don't want to be near the people we drag in here. A lot of the times, because they uh, either smell bad or uh, they spit fans, when they right? talk. You got good fans. You got good fans. Are well, they here at six o'clock in the morning? Not so much the fans. No, nah, that's over when we're over at the uh, other side over at CBS. Oh, so, okay, so, you so not... from nine to eleven, we have uh, some fans over there. Friday's usually big. That whole room gets filled up. And how do you adjust a show like that, where you can do certain things on one channel and certain things yes. you can't do on yeah. the other channel? How do you do that? We don't even think about it. Yes. It just happens. It's I'm like serious. all of a sudden, it's not that hard. You get that mindset like you're over an old girlfriend's parents' house again. You can't curse. Over there, and I think it works well uh, with uh, having to adhere to FCC regulations over there first, and then coming over here and being able to let. So loose. you'd rather do this last, yeah. to start oh, your yeah. day doing that. So you're not in the yeah. practice of going crazy oh all day. I yeah. throw a few f bombs out and then go over to regular radio. That would yeah, be that a would lot be tougher because <laughs> it happens. We dro we drop them over there a lot of times, and you got, got, got a guy on the dump button and everything. But uh, you know, sometimes. <laughs> We just, we, you lose your mind, you just drop the yeah. F-bomb And how about, what, 14 years? Yeah, I worked with Mike for 19, but we 19. saw each other at night. We didn't see each other first thing in the morning. How about right. 14 years at 5.30 in the morning? That's not that easy. Well, no, we've yeah. only been doing mornings for four. Oh, we oh, were doing, years, we were doing afternoons. Yeah, afternoons yeah. is a lot true. easier. And then we had two years where we weren't doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> so we were <laughs> I think we went, sitting out. I think we went almost a year where we didn't talk to each other. Is that true? It's so weird that we're now back doing this. Yeah. A year, well, you, so you spent a year, didn't even well, talk to each other. Oh, we were so traveling around and stuff. When we got uh, the boot, we were so well, we were I, I never so yeah. bummed out and like, what the fuck? That we kind of went our own directions for a while. We Did you lose? Yeah. You lost faith in radio at that point. You said you're never yeah. going to work in radio the rest of your life. Uh, that kind of stuff? Everyone else said we would never work again. But, yeah, so uh, we I started to believe that. You know, and they were paying us, which was good. But yeah, you, you we wanted to work. to work. You know, yeah. you, you know, radio. If you're out of it too long, people forget. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have They sure do. So yeah, yeah. But I mean. So now you look at each other for uh, four, uh, four, five mornings a week for four yeah. years. 
Five thirty in the morning. That's not that easy. No, that's what you know. You're staring at the newspaper and the it's computer a, screen, and you know what? It's don't easy. talk too much off the air, yeah. so that way you got to get it in the groove. You got to get there at eight thirty before yeah. you want to talk to anybody. You know what? Right? Though it's easy when you go to the bank. You go, oh yeah, okay. Uh, oh, now I remember why. <laughs> you I kiss did the this. checks. It's this, not is, bad. this is working. Okay. I remember. I sold out years ago. That's right. That's right. We did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did. Uh, so what are you doing? Uh, you, you we work alone. You just right now. I am doing. I have to put together this channel. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get hosts in to get this channel set up, 24 right. hours a day, sports talk. Mm -hmm. I got about, um, I hired a nighttime guy. I hired two guys from 10 to 2. have not hired a morning guy yet. Hired some update guys yet. I've hired some update guys. And I do 2 to 7 right now since September 15th. Right. So I'm doing 2 to 7 on the Sirius 123 XM 144, yeah. Monday through Friday. But remember, there's nothing else on that channel besides me. So I'm sort of an right. island on that channel. Yeah. So just trying to establish... A sports presence mm -hmm. on that channel where they can go on a day in day out basis has not been that easy. And that's Harder just I thought. it's just you alone in well, there. I mean, or I you a, bounce off. Of I have a um, I have a couple of producers. Okay. Same thing as you do, but cool. not in the same kind of elaborate setup. Yeah. <laughs> and I have an update guy who I Steve Torrey, a good buddy from INS, yeah. who's in there. Pop, Torrey's, top, Torrey's great. He's excellent on the air. Yeah. Top mm. and bottom of the hour, he does two and a half minute updates. But as far as the show is concerned, right now just me. No, I brought my old man in. He did Tony's take. You know, he's a big Yankee fan. Sure. Had some laughs with him. <laughs> I bring Peter King in once a week, talk NFL football. Gary Danielson in once a week, talk college football. So I'm trying to add elements to it. But as right, far right. as the bulk of the show right now, it's been made. See, you know what? Uh, you, ha you have it harder, too, because uh, I was telling you off air, when you stray and talk about politics or movies or pop culture, I like when you do that. Right. But you can't it's do... It's not as easy by yourself. But you can't do... You, they're, they're definitely listening for the sports. Right. So you exactly. can't stray too long. And that, that makes it a lot harder, because with us, we go, all right, we'll talk a little sports now, then we'll go pop culture, then we'll talk music, you know, They're lifestyle. They're used to you doing your kind of show. We, we yeah, got yeah, everything. Yeah. Sirius is not used to me. The disposal. fans who are around the country don't, don't want to hear me do some sports, so I have to just basically <laughs> teach them. I don't have to teach them, but I want to make sure they get to know me a little bit. Right, sure, So when they yeah. get to know you, you got to talk about your kids, you got to talk about your tennis game. Yeah, they want to know who's talking to them. Right, they want to feel close to your host. That's yeah. what radio is better than TV, because they feel a bond to your radio host. They don't feel a bond to the TV. Tennis is a, you know. It's oh, I love of, the tennis. It's a, it's you know. Come on. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I understand. On. And you know, doing? I need. Well, I can talk about my work and out. I hired a personal trainer. So ah, you did. I've been do you wear the cute there. tennis shorts? What are you doing? Oh, I wear the tennis shorts. Oh. Yeah, don't forget it. Clubs. <laughs> where, where I live in Connecticut, you wear <laughs> college shirts. Come on, yeah. Ninety percent white. You can't wear the colored. You got to wear ninety percent of the shirts. Got to be white. Tennis sneakers. <laughs> McCain God forbid country. You walk out there with a basketball sneaker on and go crazy. <laughs> McCain country. That's it. It's McCain country. There you go. I don't know about that tennis thing. I tried it. It's a good game. And I like sports, but... It's that a good one, game. Uh, you know why it's a good game? Why? Because tennis is a sport that you can play it your whole life, either doubles or singles, mm -hmm. and you can play tennis as a singles player without getting physically hurt. Basketball, you play as an older, you jam fingers, mm. you sprain ankles. You know, so is the tennis you elbow, though. From, from that. Tennis, it's a little... It's, it's physical, but it's not a... What about golf? Sport. I play golf, too. Right. But What's your too? handicap? Any good? It's about a 16. Yeah. yeah, but you know the problem with golf is that means it's a twelve. No, nah, I'm a thirteen. This, four, this guy's four, taking people's I shot money. eighty three at Wingfoot this year. Really? Uh, which is the best of it? I played That's eleven pars. I was on bottom. hot. But the thing about golf is, is that it's a tough sport to play when you have little kids because it's time consuming. It's five hours. So if I want to go play right, golf. Yeah. And my kids are home from camp or something, and I tell my wife, Jeannie, I'll be back at, I'm leaving at 9, and I'll be back at 4 o'clock, then I'm going to have to, <laughs> a honey bad. to do this when I get home, which I'd rather not have. So you got to pick your spot. You just got to drive into the foursome in front of you, that's all. Just keep <laughs> driving into quick, it. Move, quick. you son of a bitch. We used to do that. <laughs> oh, how many all times time. are you just waiting for this idiot to putt? <laughs> you know, like, come I, I, on. I, 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 well, we're young. At Plus and Country Clubs, you know, they play, you know, they're fight out on Nassau. I mean, they think they're, fret, they think they're a tiger at the <laughs> yeah, soap <laughs> <and rock and laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they sit there and they make sure they got to line that putt up and try to oh, make it. Oh, yeah. But they finally uh, have gone high tech with a lot of these courses where if you're going too slow, oh, your, they, your they car speed starts you. blinking oh, and stuff you. and they send a guy Get out. out of here. Your car oh, blinks? Something like that. Yeah, they got something. Well, they, 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 they got shows the Rangers you. on the course trying to move yeah, along. Yeah, and they so. basically give you one warning. And if that, let, I'm just saying the car blinks or whatever. And if you don't speed up after that, they yank you right off the fucking thing. Well, you know, it's funny. I shoot the 83 at Wingfoot foot this year okay 
So that's how many gimmies? Uh, no gimmies. I played with my brother-in-law. Who's <laughs> a good player. You know, it was, it was a it was a, um, um, it was a uh, charity event. So I, two guys bidded to play. So, yeah. you play. Mm -hmm. so I play in a member member at my club up in East Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, it's a three day member member. You pick a partner, play with them for the last couple of years. You play in certain flights. Uh, you got to be five strokes within your partner's handicap. You got to win your flight to advance to a. Uh, and a three-hole playoff with the other flight winners. There's eight flight winners. So this particular year, we won our flight for the second year, so we go to the first playoff hole. It's a 405-yard par four straight ahead. Everybody hits the tee shot. 16 players, they all hit the tee shot, so that's alternate shot uh -huh. in. No kidding. And the first three, and the best three teams out of the ultimate shot go to the next hole, best ball there, and then you go to the final hole. So it's a fun little playoff thing. So this year, last year, got to the final hole, hit the ball out of bounds, lost. This year, we both, my partner and I, he both hit two shots. I hit it to the left rough. He hits it straight ahead, not as far as 68 years of age, not as far. We decide to take his ball, which means I have to hit the next shot. Mm -hmm. 250 people. I'm 212 yards away. I take a seven-wood out, a little uphill, and I have to hit this ball in the green because everybody's getting it. It's a handicap hole, so you have to par this. you got to get a four for three to advance. Sure. I line up my seven wood, round to go, got the tiger red shirt on, you know, the power shirt, the black pants. It's a Sunday afternoon. I'm all jazzed up. You know me. <laughs> so I get up there with the seven wood, take my practice swing, and I hit a seven wood about 210, 212, and it's a downhill. So if you hit it 180, it's going to roll onto the green, blah, blah, blah. And I line up. And I hit it as hard as I could, oh. and I swing and miss. Did oh. you really? I was joking. Oh. Uh, that is the most embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Count yeah. 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 It counts. That you better is believe it so counts. so embarrassing. And I, everybody was in <laughs> stunned silence, you know? Oh, yeah. And at a country club like that, they know who I am, so they want to see me humbled, but they don't want to be embarrassed for me. Yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a, they'd rather have me hit the ball, hit a lousy shot, than not hit the ball at all. Then just miss. And oh. so I swung and missed, and my partner went up. That way, bottom line is we lost. We didn't advance. But to swing and miss from 212 yards in front of literally 250 people, you know, oh. all soaking, smoking cigars, you know. It was, was, the, it was, the, it was yeah. the choke. Oh, my God. It was, it was the, the most embarrassing moment of my sports. Couldn't you just say that it was a practice swing and you weren't trying to hit it? <laughs> you, you know, yeah. like you, you could get it. I could suck that bad. Badly, of you know what? Not. Golf's an honor sport, and so you, you know you know the way golf. They yeah, all they, yeah. they penalize themselves. Mm -hmm. I hit the wrong ball. They give themselves a two shot penalty. So from that standpoint, I wanted to be honest. Hey, swung and missed. Yeah, Boom. a lot of times you you there find you yourself you're you know alone in the woods there looking for your uh, lost ball. Yeah. You you could drop oh, one out. A lot of people do that. There's I a lot of honor in yeah, don't, uh, golf. Have, yeah. have, don't play with uh, Rich Voss. He does exactly that. Nah. And shoots 76. I'm like, this This isn't the ball you started off with. Absolutely. you got to be careful. You don't only cheat yourself. Yeah. You don't only cheat yourself. Yeah. That's the last time. Well, I played one of the times since then. I've only played one since that shot on August 11th. Oof. So there you go. Nice. <laughs> I, I know a hot so. chick who really wants to work for you. Um, she's really a sexy. She, like, models... Uh, and she's obsessed with, with you. She wants to work. She's not a crazy person. She just loves sports <laughs> radio. You know what she is? Oh, no, no, I don't no, think you know her, no. but uh, it's, it's not an unhealthy obsession. She's well, why don't you give me, why don't you have her give me a holler, and we'll get some, and we'll see what we can I do. I really, yeah, she's been contacting I me. Like uh, just be she, on the air or behind the scenes? Uh, I don't know, actually. I didn't ask. I like how you work. nothing to do with me. So I didn't ask. Why don't you? Uh, what are you doing here? Why don't you guys do a little work? Anthony, I'm surprised at you. Uh, I need all the help I can get. I got, right I got, I got my own things going on. <laughs> Listen, believe me. I'll, I'll tell you. There's a guy who loves to eat his own shit, but when he's not doing that, he does uh, a good job with sports. <laughs> Eastside Dave. You should give Eastside Dave a minute. I'm or not two. Dave. He's no, looking I'm at me not, like I'm Dave. No, I just want like that. <laughs> okay. He's one of the guys on Ron and Fez, and he knows uh, he likes his sports a lot. Why don't you send me some resumes and tapes? Anything? I will. Five I'll blocks down yeah. the street. All right, you'll I'm get around the corner. You'll get a tape from Eastside Dave I'll, immediately. I'll tell you something that's interesting. Maybe you Try, give him a couple minutes here and there. Maybe you find some little Find a for segment him. for him. Yes. Yeah. Trying to find hosts in America yeah. to mm. do sports talk. Not that easy. Hard yeah. these days. You'd be surprised. You'd say, God, it's got to be 30 guys who are dying who have some ability. There's a guy not that does that easy. a really good friend of mine. He's in uh, Buffalo. His name's Bull. He does uh, like sort of color commentary for the Bills. That's a good job. And the and he's in the locker room after every game. He he's he knows his shit big time. I got a guy at GR. I'm talking to right now. That's a good station that does the Bills and Sabres station. WGR. What's his name? Rich? No, it's uh, I don't have the sheet. In front All right, of no worries. It, it's, that's just uh, Jeremy something. Oh. I somebody mm -hmm. I, I caught the talk. So what I did is I caught a Seattle. Rick Scott, uh -huh. I called a radio sports talk consultant. 
told him what I was looking for, needs some hosts, mm. and he gave me about eight to ten people. So I'm trying to try Very to nice. Hey, this, is it. this is after two and a half months of searching the yeah. country. Yeah. Not that easy. How about Benito? Benito? You have a pretty... Uh, uh, he's under contract. Oh, so Kevin, to dump it. What are they going to do? Sue him? You know, I don't want to steal anybody from FAN either. That's a little dicey. You have a pretty interesting story, though, how you got in the business. Uh, well, I worked in, um, you know, my first job. I went to Rollins College, a little yuppie school. I loved it, but, you know, in Orlando, Florida, Winter Park, Florida. And my first job was in Jacksonville. And I worked for the Jacksonville Suns baseball team. <laughs> Because I wanted to be a play by play announcer, so right. I went to the baseball winter meetings in eighty two and the job I ended up getting was being the announcer for the double A baseball Jacksonville Suns. Jesus. I got there in February of eighty three, season starts in March. I sold advertising to sort of as a prelim and lo and behold, six weeks before the season, six weeks into the job, they fire me. Why? I haven't sold enough Wait. advertising. They're uh. a little worried about putting me on the air. So they used the excuse I hadn't sold enough advertising. And I had sold plenty of advertising. Program ads, season tickets, billboard advertising. And this is, I'm 23 years of age, right out of college, Jacksonville, Florida. That is not an easy job. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, got fired, knocked on radio station doors. The first door I knocked on, a dawn to dusk station, WEXI 1280, hired me. And they hired me to sell. With the hope that one day, get on the air. The first day I started was St. Patty's weekend. The first day I started, five days later, their sports guy who was there for two years, gives up his notice, he's moving to Washington, D.C. Lo and ah. behold, I got Step a weekend in. sports wow. talk program. Yeah. And sometimes you got to have that guardian angel. Yeah, no that's kidding. how so no you kidding. get lucky. Sometimes and, uh, you have to have that guardian. And you got to make something of it. I mean, look at this job I got here. You know, mm -hmm. this, I mean, I got a good job. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. you want to tell me I made a big move, I left Mike, we had a great partnership, <laughs> big you know, fun listen. Uh, New York, tries. It's, it's exciting. Sure. It's something I mean, new. I, I, had, I had Mel bring me in who was, uh, you know, tell me, Chris, listen. Channel, director, star, producer. Do anything you want. Car lunch. <laughs> right. Now, you tell me at 48, I'm 49 now. You tell me at 49 years of age, after 20 years at FAN, where I wasn't going to get this offer five years down the road when mm -hmm. I'm in the mid-50s. You tell me how in a word you turned down that job. It's impossible. Yeah. You can't yeah. do it. Yeah. I want a challenge. I want to, I want to do something a little different. <laughs> sure. I took it. Hey, uh, did you guys hate each other at the end? I think it was time for a change, but we never hated each other. You yeah. can, you guys, listen, you guys have your issues. Now, you guys are good buddies. Yeah. You guys have your issues. When you work with someone, I knew Mike better than his wife knew Mike. That's Mike what it is. knew me better than his wife, better than my wife knows me. When, so you spend so much time, when you spend so much time together, you know, you do have uh, issues every so often that pop up, uh, quirks, things, whatever. But, uh, you know, and, and it is, it's, it's this relationship, a business relationship, a working relationship. And then especially with a weird job like this, because you have to talk and communicate on a daily basis. There were times at NEW and stuff where, you know, we we had, a, you know, a tiff mm -hmm. and uh, a tiff and have to get on the air. And that's the hardest thing. Not that thing, easy. Well, is when no, now you're looking at each other or not looking at hold each on. other. Let me jump in, though. What was weird about that? The mics are on and I like nothing is wrong. Mics go off. We don't even want to look at each other. Yeah, and we want to. Just, and we're back kinda, to. And we're back to almost like uh, fighting over whatever the issue was. I don't remember. Doesn't anymore. last that long. long. Couple no. days but, maybe, and you bounce yeah. back. But it then the mics like back on, and we're like, "Hey, buddy." Blah, so you guys blah, blah. are it friends. Weird as hell. Yeah, you guys yeah. are friends. You, 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 and doing well, comedy, they don't want to hear you hating each other. No, well, they no. want to laugh with you. Well, Although occasionally they fun. do like they, oh, they do, do like they want to see they want to see some fighting. They do like <laughs> someone getting a sound thrashing every so often. Jimmy and I went at it for like forty five straight minutes one day oh, and just sat there and went, oh Jesus. I was just having flashbacks oh, when I was a kid. My parents are arguing, <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there shaking. Uh, they were you any, really. You have any brothers or sisters? Oh yeah, I got a younger sister and an older brother. Yeah. How about you? How about you? Oh, I'm a big family, one of seven. Oh, one of seven. I'm an only child. Oh, really? Very okay. obvious. Very obvious. All right. The spoiled <laughs> attention hog. <laughs> yeah, <very laughs> I, mean, I went to a boarding school in upstate New York when I was 13 years of age. Yeah. Boarding school? 140 kids. I was there for four years. So, I mean, I had a... You're very used to individual attention. 140 kids is not many people no, coming to focus mean, on. I had, I, had you know, I, I had 12 kids in my Did class. Did you come from money? No, I really didn't. <laughs> I'm like, Middle class. Connecticut. Well, Syosset. Boarding Syosset school. Syosset. 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 He's That's on. not that wealthy, Syosset. Yeah, yeah. North Shore of Syosset. Hey, this is some nice North Shore. Oh, yeah, the North, North Shore not Syosset too far too from 25A in Syosset. That's yeah, not too do, bad. Do you know what oh, really? I love about uh, Russo and I love about Mike, too, is the fact you guys defended Imus. Oh, I we defended Imus. Yeah, yeah, these yeah, guys yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Really? That, that, was, right. that was a biggie. Right. I just love right. the fact that we're these guys were on the same train, man. Yeah, you guys. We were yelling and screaming. He supported you guys big time. Absolutely. He was very happy that you what you guys did. Always yeah. got always got along with him. Good guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, we, we got something for you. Let me hear. Very special. 
People don't realize how long five and a half hours is. I know Mike. He knows me better than Mike knows Roe and better than I know Jeannie. I mean, the bottom line. Mike knew me before he knew Roe. Before he had three kids, oh, I knew Mike. Before you I had four kids. <laughs> oh, oh, you are a son of a bitch, Why man. Why are you doing that here? <laughs> we had so much fun oh, with this. Oh, I did you guys go no, crazy? I no, never heard this. Oh, you, I never heard this. Were you away? Yeah, we oh, hear this. No. <laughs> right, listen to this. I never heard this. We are, I got to tell you. We are huge fans of when the uh, the sports star cries. We can't. Oh, Mike Schmidt when he hits. Oh, that. Thank you. That's a great one. No, have you? Oh heard? no, with the one where he's the retirement uh, speech. Oh, that was it. It was the retirement. Play it was the retirement. That. Retirement. It was retirement in yeah. Pittsburgh when he was crying. Eighty-eight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we. It's great. <laughs> I, I give Mike credit for that. Because, you know, the FAM would not put me on. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So, sure What does that suck about radio? You do... I hate that. 19 you, you, years, you, you give me a life. You work your balls off for a company. You make them yeah, a lot of money. 19 years. A lot of every money. Every day of my life. And and, yeah. and they can't do the right thing in the end. What is it's it not about gonna, radio? It's that not going to affect it. Don't understand it. It's always worked that way. Don't, but I did cry. I called in. I was I was oh, yeah, spontaneous. Yeah. Did you? Let me hear. Oh, I didn't hear that. Before I had four kids and you He took his headphones off. Oh, God. It's it's off. It's done. Oh, it's done. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. So you you made the I guys had a lot of fun with that one, huh? I lied. I've, I've actually did hear that before. It was terrific. <laughs> you know, I tell you, we did get a lot of publicity, did we not? Yes, oh my you did. god, oh, man, you did very well. Yeah, we did well. Friend. Yeah, we did well. Hey, uh, it was a nice moment, though. You it called it. Nice it was moment. very genuine. It was, it was. You're not phony. It's these great. guys, these guys, we gotta really, make these really guys want to. They don't understand that men can sometimes distribute a little homosexual behavior is not bad. We got to make fun, but of course that's great. Radio right there. Who's, not, who's radio? turning yeah. that off? Yeah, yeah, who's gonna turn that off? Now, uh, I want to. I, I want to talk about him getting married. Here. What's wrong with getting Can married? I this guy? What's guy? You not? You? I was. Mistake, was I was. All right, this is what I do then. <laughs> it wasn't an easy call. <laughs> <laughs> I could, what do you? What do you think I thought, you're dealing with a rookie here? I, 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 no, I'm not For a second, I thought you were playing me in court during my divorce. Well, yesterday watching the election results. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is actual audio of Anthony. Watching Obama win, uh, we should change. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But I, I want to change gears because you were in the paper today. We read your quote; it was but, great. You uh, you voted for McCain over but, Obama. No, I, mean, you I, said I, mean, was, I could have gone out of the way. You said it? it was a toss up. Right, toss up. You basically head. said, "What was your quote? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo," and you eeny, chose me. McCain. Basically, uh -oh. but good, you're, good thing you didn't continue that little song. <laughs> 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 and you had something to say uh, <laughs> the redistribution of the redistribution of wealth and, yeah. and part of that frustration mm -hmm. because you don't want to give hands handouts to and there people, is that element there is that element right of it. that are gonna end up uh, just sleeping to 10 o'clock every morning right like, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think I think a lot of people who are taxed heavily and we're all taxed heavily oh, three yeah. of us in this room Ooh. there is that element that you know you almost feel like hold on now you're getting up at five o'clock in the morning every day for you know I know you're getting a lot of money but still you're getting up yeah. every day to try to produce a talk show say you know it doesn't have to be radio people it could be anything sure so, you know and you don't yep. want to feel that your work is taken care of. you want to do your share and we all know the environment's tough for everybody, so you want to help, but you don't want to get people lazy. Well, you know what? I'll sit around, I'll collect unemployment, no big deal, because yeah. the big guy's going to get taxed. He's going to work, we're that getting taxed. Yeah. And I pay t enough taxes. Uh, we all I'm pay doing price. my share. You know, uh, that's, that's what why. I mean. We all Yesterday, feel like we're doing our yeah. share. Why should I have to do more? Yeah. I mean, nobody helped me when I was 25 years Thank old. Thank you. That's years. exactly well, that what was I was point. saying. That was the point of the we, quote. We came up yeah. with uh, a great solution. If we're going to have to pay even more, all we ask is that we get to choose the people we help. Imagine that, that anyway. That's not a terrible idea. But imagine idea. that. But no, I'm, but for real. Yeah, it's like, not going like, to work that way, uh, but yeah. that's not a terrible idea. And you idea. can actually do that. It's called prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Jimmy Norton's been a, a fan of that one, bro. Just 500 for the little write-off. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the, um, I did like the speech. I liked Obama's speech, though. You did? Yeah. I did. Did you guys see it live? Well, no, you sleep I, uh, I, I had a bell. I wanted to, but watch it through my tears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, make, you know, McCain's speech was, uh, was actually fairly he good, He actually too. did a good job. Uh, but uh, Obama did it. You know, he, I thought he hit all the right chords. You know, he's, sl he's, he's slick. I mean, he's he knows how very to slick. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I, I'm still not sure what his, his, his platform is. He says things, but then doesn't explain them. Uh, you know, there's a lot of these issues that he's, he's come politics. up with, and yeah. you're like, yeah, well, you know, what does that mean? Which which leads me to believe, yeah, that that uh, this whole change thing. Well, you know, you, you know still what I liked about it though, and I'll bring there. this up today at two o'clock. I'll leave with it for ten minutes, and I'll get off it because I can't. As you said, I got to do sports. But yeah. the thing that I did like about it last night, watching it, and I didn't vote for him. 
I like the idea that when you looked in the audience, you had black white. Well, yeah, there was a, and I a like, lot. I, and we all know. Yeah, I, that's you like, you had young, right there. You had bl- and you had old, and you, not as much old, but you not had young, and you had black guys. white. And you like the idea that you had black white. So it's going to be very diverse disappointment. You can look at it that way, too. <laughs> now, listen, you know, it's funny. Sports guys don't get wrapped up. First black head coach, first black quarterback. For, because we had Doug Williams win a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You know, we ha- we've had black head coaches in the NFL. Mm-hmm. We've had Jack Robbins, Jackie Robinson was 60 years ago. Right. So I don't think the sports fan, he cares about winning. You know, right. the NBA, you go watch an NBA game, your favorite team's got, you know, five, 10 or 12 black players. Who cares? Yeah. It's sports. So I don't think the sports fan cares as much, but obviously the meaningfulness for blacks, the fact that they have, we have our first black president, it means a lot to them. I can't take that away from them. And if it inspires the one kid. No matter how hard we try. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it inspires that one 10 year old in LA living in a bad situation that now he can put the poster up of Obama as his president and instead of doing something stupid, he'll do something good with his world. You know what? Then yesterday was a good day for American, for American politics. Hey, you didn't mention. How come he wrapped it up so nicely? Yeah, what the hell? Uh, and we sit there say, arguing be, with be, each other be, for be, fucking you three can, hours. Well, you have five hours that you have to do it with. I don't have <laughs> you that. You could have saved time. us three, four hours today yes. with that. Hey, uh, why didn't you mention Pumpsy Green? <laughs> Pumpsy. Do you know who Pumpsy yeah, Green I sure is? I do. Red Sox. First Red Sox. Uh, what? I'm not uh, even trying. Of course he does. Let's see if he knows the year. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, let's see it if was, he knows the year. No, I don't. I'm I think lot, it was 59, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a lot later than well, Jackie, was Jackie Robinson. Robinson. 47. Then it was uh, 59 or 12 yeah, years later. Was, was it 12 years yes, later? Yes, it was. 59. Something like that. Pumpsy Green, that's a good one. Uh, I think it's like a base. Jim Rice. Jesus, of course he's a I'm a big Rice fan. I mean, Rice should have written me in New York. But see, I think I do think that sports guys... Mm. You know, when I watch a sport, who th- I don't Doug Williams win a Super Bowl. Who cares? Mm-hmm. You know, you want the Redskins. You want the if you bet the Redskins, yeah. you don't care who's the quarterback. Right. Yeah, just you win know, the goddamn game. The black game. head coaches is the same thing. You know, whether it's Willingham at Notre Dame, whether it's uh, Marvin Lewis in Cincinnati. You know, wherever it's, mm-hmm. it's you know, it's not that important to me. Right, as a right. Sports fan. With the, the thing with the we just noticed with the stats and and stuff. Is that all in your goddamn oh, absolutely. head? Absolutely. You just and God given from, ability from when you were a, a kid. Yep, absolutely. You, you just. I, God given, God given, amazing. I, I believe it because the, the technology. When I was really listening, to you guys, big time. You didn't have the Blackberries and no, the internet I wasn't that great. It it was, I'm talking <laughs> mid '90s, but now it, it, it does make it easy. With oh, it does make it easy. You can look up things quickly. Absolutely. But I mean, that's what always amazed me about you, uh, 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 listening, just going like, where, where did he pull that out of? Where the hell did he pull it There's out? There's going to be a day that the old man, that Mr. Russo becomes senile, that I won't be able to do that. <laughs> so I better capitalize what I can. 19, so good, how Tom Seaver played for the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I 19, had a good, 1978 Super Bowl. Who won? Uh, hmm. That 78, was that the, you talking about the 78 season or the 78 oh, Super boy. Bowl? I already know that. Is one. it January 78? Or was it January 79? January 79, I know. That was a Cowboys that was, that, loss that was uh, to Pittsburgh. 35-31. Holy Jackie, shit. Jackie Smith dropped a pass. pass. Yes, yeah, it was horrible. Packers, uh, Cowboys were down 35-17, scored two touchdowns late in the game. That's fucking out of here. <laughs> I know insane. this stuff. You're Rain Man. That's I, know, give not, I know. You know That's I know. Fantastic. You ain't listening to me. Oh, give, me no. give me a year. What? Just give me a year. And ask him, uh, who, like, uh, give him a baseball year and who won it. That's ah, a little harder. Yeah, because it goes back for it. Right, right. right. I won't even go that far out. Yeah, don't go. Let's too just crazy. go like uh, 60s, 70s, or 80s. Yeah, yeah. Let's go uh, uh, 80, 83. Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah, yeah. Orioles beat the Phillies in five games, and they lost the first game and beat them four straight. Mike Schmidt won for 15 in the World Series. <laughs> How do you know that? That's a simple How one. do you not know that? <laughs> Come on. Dude, we, we you don't, don't even understand know how true. astounding this nah, is. That's yeah. easy. Like, like, that, that's this is like game. magic. That's a, <laughs> wow. I love that history stuff, that's though. Good. I, I do love that history that stuff. That is good. Uh, that's far, that's how about who up. lost the 1973 Division Series? Oh, man. Uh, in, well, the, the, the uh, Mets beat the Reds. It was not. It was, it was called the championship series then because the divisional oh. series were not there. So but it shows the Met- you that I made this up. <laughs> 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 now look at him. Look at him. He got Met, you. Uh, Mets beat the Reds in the National League, and the A's beat the. Uh like, uh, the A's probably beat the Orioles. I have to look that one up. I think they beat the Orioles. You, you got, got me on one. You're right. You got me on one. <laughs> I, I think they beat the Orioles in 73. Oh, 72, they beat Detroit. I think 73, they beat the Orioles. And the A's beat the Mets in the World Series in seven games. I'm throwing out questions that don't exist. How many homers did Eckersley have? Yeah. What an idiot. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll give you that. I was just at the World Series. Let me give you a good baseball one, a good little baseball story. 
okay. that, that you get a kick out of. Um, well, I'll give you a good football story. Um, when Gifford, his first wow. year with the football giants, <laughs> <Going back. laughs> in 1952, Gifford was Heisman Trophy winning running back, USC, Bakersfield, California. He plays both ways. Defensive back, and he's a running back. Gets drafted by the Giants, and the Giants drafted him because USC played an army in 51, and Wellington Mara, the owner, was also the head scout. So he saw him, liked him. Giants made him the first pick or the first round pick in a 52 draft. His first year with the Giants, the Giants were 3 and 9. And Gifford had a, you know, very physicality type year. He's running the ball. He's, this is 50s football. It's rough. <laughs> Playing really? defense at the end of the year, defense and NFL and football by and NFL hysterical. football in fifty three is a little different. And at the end of the year, Gifford told, "Well, I said, listen, I've had it. This is too much for me. I'll go back to California and do commercials. He's a big, he's a good looking guy, Gifford. You know, he's a Heisman Trophy winning running back. He went, played at USC. Uh, I've I've had it. This is too much. We were lousy. I'm one. I lost twenty five pounds at the end of the season. <laughs> and Mara said, "Do me a favor. Give me one more year." Twisted his arm. Gifford said, all right, I'll give you one more. I'll try it my second year. Goes back off season, comes back in uh, July of 53, training camps in Vermont. He goes into the first day of practice, knocks on the new defense. Don't forget, Frank plays both ways. He knocks on a new defensive coordinator's door, Tom Landry. Hmm. New offensive coordinator's door. Vince Lombardi. Jesus. <laughs> That's a good one. Jesus. Can I give you another one on football? I'm yeah, the football sure. right now. Well, I'll give you one more. Uh, then you guys can tell me. Landry and Vince Lombardi, yeah. That's a good That's pretty guys. good. I mean, all of a sudden, yeah, those are two, yeah, huh? two of the great coaches of all time. time and was, I got those two guys to be on a staff. 40, a 58 championship game. That's, that's the most important game in the history of the NFL. Colts, Giants, Yankee Stadium. Giants had won in 56, got the ch title game in 57. Colts had Unitas. In that game, 17-14, Giants lead late in the fourth quarter. Unitas and Ray Berry. Berry was a tremendous wide receiver. He was as good a wide receiver as he's ever had. He's top five wide receivers of all time. We all know Unitas. Mm -hmm. In that game, it was second and ten, Colts' last drive at the 22-yard line, down by three. Giants medal at the uh, Yankee, Yankee Stadium. Mm. In that particular formation... Barry winds up as a wide receiver, and Harlan Savar, a giant linebacker, lined up to the inside of Barry. In preseason the year before, in a game, they, the linebacker did the similar thing, Joe Schmidt of the Lions, and they ran a play, didn't work. After the game, United said to Ray, says, you know, when the linebacker does that, let's try this play. Let's, uh, let's run this route if he lines up there. Move forward a year and a half. That was the first time since that preseason game the year before that a linebacker lined up against Barry in that situation. Different pass pattern, 25-yard gain, first down, kick the field goal, win in overtime. Think about that for a second. You got Unitas and Barry, a play they did not practice for a year and a half, but they're so <laughs> together. Hall of Fame wide receiver, right. best quarterback maybe in the history mm -hmm, of the sport. Sure. And they sort of play in preseason. The year before, when the linebackers lined up a certain way, boom, the next year in a championship game now. This is not some, yeah, yeah. you know, rinky-dink September game, Niners and the Colts. These are Colts <laughs> Giants. You don't see that Show kind me of... Show uh, you don't see, well, you don't see that kind, of kind, of kind of improvisation. Of you don't see that kind of improvisation anymore. At the line of scrimmage. You know, you know <laughs> right. today you got people talking. Yeah, yeah, the right, right, the there's right, nothing right, going on. Right, right. So I like that. Those are the kind of stories that I like. So about. what can you tell me about my Jets? What's going to happen with the Jets well, this year? I mean, the Jets got an easy... Listen, Here's what you got the Jets. They got to win this week. Mm -hmm. St. Louis, 6-3. and three. Their next two games are tough games. At New England, next Thursday night, NFL mm -hmm. Network. Do you have the NFL Network, by the Hell way? Hell no. You better have it. Because, well, no, that game will be on over the air, New yeah. York, so you'll be okay. And then after they play at Tennessee. So you'd like to get a split in those two. Win this week. You're 7-4. and four. You got an easy last five games. The Jets should make the playoffs. They'll probably get no more than 10. Be a wild card team. The division is there for them. Three mm -hmm. teams at five and three, no Brady, but probably wild card. Probably make the playoffs. I would say the Jets got a chance to make the playoffs. Are the Pats surprising mm -hmm. you this year? Not with Belichick. True. You know, they're, they're only going to be a ten and six team. Pats aren't winning a Super Bowl, mm -hmm. but you know he's so good. They're making it interesting. They're so the good, least. the Pats. Yeah. I mean, he's such a good coach. And what about Jimmy's Cowboys? Hmm. Here's the thing with the Cowboys, Jimmy. 
Weren't they four and zero? Didn't they start four and zero? Uh, maybe been three. It was three and zero. Uh, okay. It's either three. It may have been four. I, I think it was three though. I think it was. But the Cowboy after the Green Bay game, they won three. Then they lost the Redskins. Ask so him in twenty years, he'll know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys have to beat that Redskin game next week. They play the Redskins off their bye week in Washington. That is a game they have to win because that'll put them at six and four. Their next two after that are the Niners and Seattle at home around Thanksgiving. Mm. Eight and four, in good shape. Mm -hmm. But they lose to the Redskins. Then the Redskins have a two and a half game lead because they would have beaten the Cowboys twice, and they'd be seven and three, and the Cowboys would be five and five. So the game next Sunday night, NBC in Washington is the biggest game of the year for Dallas. Have to win the game. I think they will. More think importantly about sports, when is someone going to tell John Sterling to stop yelling, the Giambino? Anyway, he's not going to yell anymore <laughs> because Giambi's out of there. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and Yankees win and all that oh, kind of stuff. I hate that. I'm you a, know, I'm a well, We hate fan, the though. Yankees. We all hate well, the Yankees. You hate the Yankees? Nah, well, you're a Giants fan. I've been a Yankee fan. <laughs> you but, like the Giants, uh, right? Oh, big Giants fan. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's just been such a disappointment over the past few years. Hey, you kick know. out of that first round. Baseball's weird. I thought Tampa for sure would beat the Phillies. I was shocked. I mean, they were hot. They beat the Red Sox. They got through the American League East, and they come out and play fizzled baseball there for five days. Shocked. It's great for Philly. Yeah, I, I, it's great for Philly. I don't think I ever got over that that choke with with Boston uh, with the Yankees. Tough. I they never, haven't really recovered. I since never got they over that. They have, since, they have, yeah. since the 2001 series. They haven't recovered. Well, you could argue that, but the Red Sox the year before they got the home run from Boone. That was a mm -hmm. great win. Mm, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and then they blow that three zip lead. You know, again, I, I've come to the conclusion in sports that you got to make the playoffs and be in the p race every year. And when you are in that situation, eventually hmm. the ball is going to bounce the right way. Yeah. Look at the Phillies. Five, six years in a row. Look at the Colts with Manning. Five or six years in a row, all of a sudden they have a big... You know, they, they win. I mean, you got to be in mess. it. Yeah, you got to be, be in it. Should, should, you you win it seven times. One of those years you're going to win. Something's going to happen. Well, right, right. Speaking, That's the way I look at it. Speaking right. of that, should they have ever gotten rid of uh, Joe Torre? Oh, no, definitely not. Yeah, of course that not. That was a terrible move. You think so? Well, I kind of was happy. Uh, I love Tory, but he had, it, in uh, fairness, he had a great team, and he had won in, in what, almost, it was seven years made, in a row. Well, what do you say now about Girardi? Um, I mean, Tory made the playoffs. Girardi yeah, he was, making, he was making the playoffs. So, so if Tory wanted him, guy, well, let's get let's get Girardi the hell out of there. Girardi didn't even make the postseason It's issue. hard, yeah. though. I, I just think it's hard. I like Tory. I just think it's really hard when you got guys like Alex Rodriguez who aren't going to perform or certain things that are done in the front office where you really can't blame the... Uh, well, you can't blame the player. So you, the, 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 I mean, you can't blame the coach for the player not doing his job. I mean, you know, if... if, if although Torrey brought in Rivera way too early, I got tired of the two-inning Rivera. No, I didn't you want did. that. Well, I understand that. Listen, I mean, you, he was there a long time, and so eventually the Yankee fan's going to get sick. It's like anything else in life. When you're there in a the spotlight yeah, for yeah. so long, yeah. eventually they're going to kick you out. That's what it was. Yep. They're going to kick you out. And that's kind of what happened with Torrey. They got tired of him. Fans got a little tired of him. Ownership got tired of him, and out he went. But he has the last lap. Dodgers make the playoffs. Yeah, the playoff round, and, and the Yankees, Yankees make the disaster. What, what do you think, Mad Dog? Oh, <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> you uh, you play you play the the. I used to do Mikey. You played oh, the did. crying I know you did. effect. You used to huh? imitate us all the time, you guys. No, I would just do uh, the easy I was part. back in the old days. Yeah, people enjoyed answering. Well, you love it. You love you guys. Hey, you new guys are good to us. You no, always talk. That. Hey, uh, yeah. we got a Buffalo guy uh, checking in. He yeah, wants let's to know, him. He wants to know. Well, he's on instant feedback. He wants to know about his bills. Uh, I was a They're tough loss last exciting week. Year. Good year for him. Five what? and three. He's a good coach. It's a big game for him this week, and they play at New England. Right. This is a very important game. Did you hear what happened at the the Bills Jets game? Uh, what Some, something for your show to spice it up a little what bit happened? there, Mad Dog. A lot of arrests and uh, a couple having sex in the bathroom during the third. Uh, Is that accurate? During the third quarter, yeah, it made the Whoa. news. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, you know, maybe a lot of Jet fans up there, so there was a little feistiness oh. between both teams. <laughs> I didn't see that. 37 people arrested at the game this week, past weekend, including a couple having sex in the bathroom during the third quarter. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. I, the game wasn't that bad, for God's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I lived in uh, Western New York for 10 years, and I got to go to a lot of Bills games. They are passionate up there about their, their oh, team. I, 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 That's all I got up there, good, though. It's a good day. It's a, it's, you like that sports town. They deserve to have a chance. It's like Pittsburgh. Mm. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh same, right? same type of town. You know, we did a lot of that last week because the Phillies broke their snide because they hadn't won in a long time. Yeah. You know, Buffalo's one of these franchises hasn't won in a long oh. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cleveland Poor. hasn't won in a long time. Oh, Seattle hasn't won. You know, Seattle's only got one championship, the Sonics. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cleveland hasn't won since 1964 in the Browns. Cleveland is there hurt. They are hurting for a winner up and there. They've had terrible and losses. They're, and, they're, and they're Jordan. Gonna they're going to lose LeBron, mm -hmm. too. You know that. They probably will. What is this trend the Yankees have, which I it, it was gone when Steinbrenner was out of baseball. It's, I, enough with the big free agents. Oh, they don't 
A-Rod well, they're has spend money this year. dunk hmm. since he got here. They didn't win with him. They won with Brocious off a scrap heap. And guys like uh, Paul O'Neill, uh, uh, who they uh, they picked up. They, they won with guys who weren't these gigantic free agent moves. Why are they back to doing that? Well, I think this year, they didn't do it last year. They let Santana knock. They didn't sign him. They didn't make a move to get him and then give him $140 million. This year, the Yankees are going to spend money. Remember, the Yankees have $88 million coming off that payroll. Mucina, hmm. Pettit. Abreu, Giambi, Pavano. They got a lot of guys coming off that payroll. And so they got $88 million. You got $88 million off the payroll. They didn't win last year. They finished in third place. Tampa won. The Red Sox won. And the Red Sox were heroic. when I mean, they, played the, they played well, the Red Sox. They right. lost, but they played well. A lot of injuries. So the Yankees this year are going to spend a ton of... Money. Hmm. How about the farm system? system? They're going to offer CC's back 150 million bucks. Sure. How about the farm system? How about the farm system? The young I understand. Guys. Well, and the I want young system. guys. I understand what you want. Who's Ramiro Mendoza? I know what you want. Jimmy, oh, that, I know what you want. I was out of touch for a second. R Ramirez? <laughs> yeah. Yankees going to sign Ramirez? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, <laughs> who wins the Super Bowl this year? Put you on the spot. Hey, you know, right now the Giants are the best team. Really? Oh, mm. they by far the best I hate team. Big Blue. They're the best team. Hey, oh, you know. seven and oh, seven and one. They're playing well. They got a good yeah. team. I'm a suffering uh, New York they fan. They probably, you know, right now it's Giants in Tennessee. But do you see Tennessee in the Super Bowl? No. Uh, I I would no look one saw for the a Rays team. In the World Series, though. So. I would look for a team to get hot late, because sometimes when you have these kind of seasons like the Giants. You get picked off by a team that gets going at the right time. Mm -hmm. But who is going to get going in the NFL? Did you think uh, the Jets picking up Favre was a... Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know if I would have done it because it's only a one-year thing, but I can certainly understand why the Jets. It gives them a little yeah. personality. It yeah, I think it was count. more to put some asses in seats uh, That's true, in the they stadium. got this PSL. Yeah, and yeah. Pennington's playing well for Miami, you know. Mm -hmm. Pennington's really? playing well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Playing well. They've won four games. They've done well, the, the uh, Dolphins. Yeah, Big Ken's happy <laughs> with the Dolphins. Hysterical and shit nice like job. that happens. Yeah. <laughs> They've done a nice job. Hey, uh, what about hockey? Why don't you talk more hockey? You know, I did three spots three weeks ago on the opening of the season in a four-day period. Hockey you is had a... Bettman on. He was a good guest. You had Gary on, right? I had Bettman on. I had uh, J.D. on. I had Barry Melrose on. And I had a writer on. So I did some hockey. Hockey is not a... It's not a... It's, it's a, like the NBA. Those sports are postseason mm. because there's so many regular season games and no teams get eliminated. Gotcha. More than half the teams make the playoffs. You know, remember baseball, there's 30-some-odd teams... Eight, only eight go to the postseason. Yeah. Football, there's 30 some odd teams. Only 12 go to the postseason. Yeah. So teams, there's the regular season value is important. In the NBA and the NHL, everybody gets in. It Makes seems it like those seasons go on forever, oh, too. It starts Holy in October shit. and ends yeah. in, in my, uh, May. My, yeah. my sports hockey. I'm a big hockey fan. Islanders? Yeah, of course. Suffering. <laughs> suffering, suffering for a while. For, forever. Still waiting. Uh, DPHO has. Uh, when, when's the 10 of 11? Middle of the week. Is this when you're five hours to get a little tired right around now doing these shows or not? No, no, um, really. Getting up, crack of dawn? No. Some, sometimes. We have to end uh, yeah. We have to end on time today because i got to catch another train to Philly to do wedding stuff wedding, all day. Wedding stuffs. <laughs> that wedding is very tricky. i tell you right now. <laughs> I will say this. Tricky. It's stressful, In, man. It, being it engaged is harder than being married. Really? Yeah. Because your wife-to-be is all stressed out. Well, yeah. I always felt it was just, I always felt... Mm. China patterns. Oh, you had one of those big weddings and uh, well, stuff? Well, uh, big enough. Big enough. China, China patterns and reception halls and mm. churches and dumb, ministers, all that stuff. How about the dumb meeting for the font for your stupid invitation? I'm like, all right, I understand <laughs> I don't want something... They they pulled out book after book. I, after oh, yeah, what, I, they, what the invitation looks like, you mean? Yeah, yes. but I, I didn't know there was ten thousand fonts you had to choose from. Yeah, that too. Oh, and how about tables? Did you, you go, go with wing table? dings? Have you done a table I went with ding no. bats. That table's gonna take you a long time. <laughs> and then someone warned me about the chair. You people. No, that table's gonna take you a long time figuring out those tables. <laughs> who sits where? Oh. Where they put the wife's oh. family, your family. It's a pain in the neck. Just put hostile people with each other. Really uh, how great screw is that? Yeah. <laughs> I would have. Uh, I would have just taken off and got married if. So you have to now drive to Philly. You have to go to Philly today for this for the whole Take day, the and, and then drive. come back to go to bed so we can do the show again. You should just let her make the decision. You getting in? You getting married in Philly? Yeah. So everything is based in Philadelphia. Yeah. So that makes it tricky. Yeah. Mm, Are you going to be invited? See, oh, that's of course. No. Nah. He's got so many brothers and stuff. Oh, you got a lot of brothers. It's a it's a brother thing. Yeah. It's all brothers. I don't uh, want to be. I don't want to be in wedding parties anymore. You I've said you were it. hurt that you weren't in it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, remember when I said that? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Believe me. How Set many me people down, in your wedding party drink. do you have? Uh, How many brothers do you have? You have three brothers? Uh, four. 
So they're all in, and you got a, and and a is your best man and, a brother? And, and, and a few, yeah. And a few brothers down in Philly. How about any brother in laws? No, I don't, no. Okay, because I had to have a couple of brother in laws in mine. <laughs> oh, that's, really? That my wife's I, from a family of six. I picked my uh, wow. nephew over yeah. brother in laws. You did pick your nephew? Okay, so yeah. as long as everybody's okay. He's a that. big Gators fan. Oh, he is. Loves his college football. Huge fan. And you have Travels never been, to all the games. You have never been married, right? Hell no. Well, that's going to be an adjustment for you. It's going to be an adjustment Tell him, man. What do you, what do you, uh, you, you got know, the case of putting my foot here? He lived through my whole friggin' marriage Hell and divorce. Yeah. He you're was there for pretty much the entire you're thing. You're not soured by it, huh? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Mad Dog, why don't you tell me? I think, I, I think you'll get in. You'll be okay with it. It's you, fun. Yeah? It's what, fun. What, but uh, there's, there's times where it's dependent. You know, what you don't guys, you like about being married? I think, you know, your, 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 your freedom is not yours. Mm. You have to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Happy, hey, happy wife, happy life. Well, with kids too, though. Well, yeah, that's, no. I'm, he's not going to be in that story. situation. So let's leave the kids out. But you have to do certain things. You might have to give up a Sunday afternoon football game because you know your wife's best friend is invited you to dinner. So yeah, I mean, there's certain things you have to make some compromises, and you have to just deal with it. And here, here's the best. Here's the best. Here's the best device I've ever gotten. Don't fight the small things. Toothpaste cap on toothpaste. <laughs> Toilet seat down. <laughs> Who ma make the bed right? But does the wife do also not sweat the small things? Well, the wife will sweat the small things. Yeah, yeah. Because women will argue over things that are just ridiculous because they want to argue. <laughs> don't, sme don't sweat the small things. Don't give in. Pick your big issues. Right. Pick your big issues. Yeah. Whether if your wife wants you to, uh, uh, you know, if she if, if she's a rough pass dr pa backseat driver. Let her be a backseat driver. It's, it's not worth your aggravation to start issues. You gotta have enough fights in your life. <laughs> you just don't, don't start them over that. Beaten. I will say this though. You have any kids, Anthony? No. I will say this. Mm -hmm. The best bond that you're ever gonna have with your wife is when that first kid is born. Because now you you will have kids, I'm sure, right? Your wife's young. When that first kid is born, and you one day, you'll be back in the same wow, boat. Wow, no way. I'll me? say it again. The only kids I like are in my bed. There are issues with children. There are issues with children that are very, very hard. Very hard. Yeah. Because then your life is never just, is never the same. You're never going to sleep the same. You're never going to do anything the way you oh, want to do it. See, that's But the, the when shit that first me. child is born and you go through that experience, that's a bond that's... Hey, you gonna it's, a, it's something you're never gonna forget. But isn't it? Doesn't it? Because I've heard from some uh, uh, husbands that the hu husband wife relationship changes now to parents instead of being like lovers. Oh, absolutely. And that all of a sudden your parents now there's this middle man or I'm woman, only talking girl, about boy the, thing. I'm only talking about the week in and around. I'm not talking yeah. six to months or five years later. Mm. And you put little kids, and I have four, nine and under. Wow. wow. No, I have help. Wow. I have help. Yeah, it's not yeah, like it's just, sure. I, I mean, I make sure my wife gets a babysitter on Sunday afternoons. Make sure. Now, I'll give you an yeah. example. Saturday night, I get to take my wife out Saturday night. You know, I'm working five days here. I get home at 8 and 9 o'clock at night. Leave, you know, sometimes during the morning. Yeah. Sa Sunday football. I, so, Oklahoma State, Texas, Texas, Saturday night. You know, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to give that up. You're going to have to Tech, go Texas, out. You know, you're going to have to give that up. Mm -hmm. You want the same. You Right now, now you're not as big a sports fan as me, but you watch a big game if it was on, right? Oh, absolutely. You're yeah. going to have to give that up because your wife's not a sports fan, right? No, she is. She's but a, I mean, she's Texas Tech, Texas. She's not. Oh no, not, not, not that deep. That's a sports. Not fan. that deep. No. So you're gonna have to <laughs> give that, that up. You're gonna have to give that. You're gonna have to give that up. A lot yeah. of guys don't want to give that up. You know, I half the time I'm in a bar, with a big game like that. Honey, sit I'll be right back. I just said, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get to the score. Well, you can, yes, I'm a wife who understands that. But doesn't she uh, understand that's what's paying yes, the bills? She that she you does. need to like Absolutely. be watching all this stuff. Absolutely, she understands. But there's there are a, times. Yeah, there's a difference. Between and there are times. Yeah, I have an excuse because it's my career. Mm -hmm. But there are times that she can't get around the inconvenience of the marriage scenario. You gotta deal with it. Like she knows you're using the fact that it's your career as an excuse because you really want to watch a game. Like there are times like I have to for work, but she's like, you can just read the paper. Tomorrow. You no, don't need to she watch this. occasionally she uh, gave me the TiVo excuse, uh, but for the most point, goddamn technology. <laughs> uh, for, for, for the most point, she, for the most part, my family knows. Now, I, my kids get a little annoyed at me sometimes because they really? think I watch sports more than I take watch my kids, which is accurate, by the way. <laughs> but sometimes they think well, I'm, I'm more into the sports. Sports is my mistress, and I'm more into sports than I am with my kids. Yeah. As long as you remember their birthdays, like you remember. Uh, yeah, I barely. Uh, <laughs> I, I got one coming up, December eighteenth. There you go. Wow.
You guys do a great job, though. Yeah. We, hey, uh, we have fun. You know, this was just yeah. the icebreaker. We'd love to get you on the show. We'll more, do it man. anytime. Five blocks away. You ask me anytime you want. We would great. love to. And yeah. uh, we'll reciprocate. We'll get we'll, you over there. We'll come me, in the little box studio well, that you're I'll in there. Well, I mean, let me get my let me get the channel organized, and we'll get you. We're stuff. just getting started with Russo, but uh, let me tell you something. I, I'm a longtime New Yorker, and I listened to uh, uh, Mad Dog with Mike for I can't even tell you how many years. Fourteen years mm -hmm. off and on. And for the new people around the country, you got to give Mad Dog a, a, a shot. Well, I appreciate it. I'm serious. I, I really do like listening to you. And there's not a lot of guys I like listening to on the radio. I like Ron and Fez. I like you. Yeah, it's I like Pro Louise in Rochester. Not many people know him. You know, and the list is you very small. You still listen to Dimas right now or not? Uh, it's hard. We, we, the you show know, has changed. Same, same yeah, hours, you know? Same hours. So. And the show has changed, though. Yeah, is it polite yeah. now? I think it, I mean I haven't heard more politically correct. In, yeah, he sure. is. In, in all fairness, when we were off the air, I was watching him every morning on MSNBC. I loved it, loved it. But no, not so much lately. How was that uh, for you know you you were on TV on the Yes Network there for a while? It was a lot harder. Were you conscious oh, all absolutely. the time of that the cameras were on you? Uh, and, I mean, you, you, it does take away a little element of it. Because because here I know when when we go to spots, just you know to make sure the mics are off and everything. Sometimes you throw your headphones off and you might have a discussion with each other. Uh, that's, on TV, you, you know, it's a little harder. You gotta watch out for You have it. to be careful on the television. Yeah. Does, Mike no question about it. does Mike actually think he's handsome? I, I could not <laughs> believe the way he like primps his hair up. I'm like, does he really think he's cute? Wouldn't he wear the headphones he so he wouldn't it. muss his hair? Yeah, Mike does have a good head of hair. He loves the way he said he had a good head of hair. He, he loved, no, <laughs> yeah, but what do you throw the headphones on like Steve Martin with the arrow? Who gives a shit? <laughs> <to> sports. <laughs> what, does he, what does he do to have fun? He looks like he doesn't like to have fun. Yeah. Mike has got a. My, my, Mike has an excellent. I mean, down deep. I mean, he has a gruff personality. We all know that. But yeah. down deep, Mike's a good. He's a good person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He loves his kids, and he's a great sports fan, Mike. I oh, mean, the yeah. idea that Mike doesn't sit there and watch the football and watch he, he's he's mm -hmm. totally into it. So I mean, listen. You know, he loves the Kennedy administration. I'm sure he's wrapped up with the politics last night. I know he went to Hofstra for the McCain Obama right, the debate. debate. So mm -hmm. he, he has his. He has. You know, he's a good husband. So he, he's got his niche. He does. I boy, sound like a uh, loving. <laughs> <dummy. laughs> yeah, yeah, but, he's, but he's got his niche. It sounds like it sounds like. Uh, a testimonial, you give it a trial. Yeah. He's a good husband, he always pays yeah, his yeah. taxes. You know, his <laughs> wife called me the day before I started wishing me luck. That was a pretty classy thing for her. Really? Did he, though? I think the yeah, fact that she so. did is almost more significant because he knew that. <laughs> yeah. Would you call? I mean, of course not, because he knows that you're going to do better than he is. Oh, I mean, well, no, you, you can't look call. at it that way. Well, he's going to so. do well, Mike's going to do well. I, and you're going to be very tough to replace over there. I'm well, not just saying that because you're here, but I yeah. listen to the show. And, uh, you know, I, look, I know you can't say yes or no, but I would listen for you the same as Oakwood. The same as Oakwood. You know, we yeah, work for the same company the... as Mike. I haven't listened since you left. I, you, you haven't know, picked we're pretty honest on the show. one time? Nope. No. Nope. What? I just you just said yeah. Even if you're curious no. about uh, a big no. game to talk about, it was, uh, how about you, Anthony? No, no it's the, your, your your personality is always the one of the energizing oh, it's factor. About personality. Of that. We it's all know not, that. Uh, yes, yeah. that and, show should have been called yeah. and the man dog. No. <laughs> it's all about you. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything nasty or anything. No, about don't. It, we got to be nice to But, yeah, but yeah, the truth of the matter is, it's it's what I would you know I would listen because yeah. Well, the ratings supposedly they haven't decreased these new people people meters whatever they're called so. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Maybe they. Uh, I, I would. I tried to move forward. You're you know? building I, your new thing with uh, that, serious that's about, you know, a We know. We know how it. We know how it is to sometimes have those light days where you really don't have much to talk about. Oh. And those days, there was one day I was driving home and I heard you and Mike talking, and you're like, uh, "What the hell was it?" It's like it was the ratings. No, no, no. It was uh, Rivera. Ratings. Rivera. Oh, okay. Rivera comes out to uh, Anna Sandman. You can't have another guy coming out oh, to the same time. Oh, Wagner thing <laughs> and, forever. And I yes. was laughing my ass off going, holy <laughs> shit. They're arguing over the Metallica song and how many two guys. Yeah. But I, I, I hey, could not. People got into it. I could not you tune were, away because it was the most ridiculous conversation for you two to be having. And I'm going, it's a light day. It's a light. <laughs> you guys we all have those the, light oh, days. Yeah, you guys you got to make something. You got to create. You yeah, got five yeah. hours. You got to create. Just That's be, not that be easy. Quiet. But I'm listening and laughing. <laughs> yeah. Just, you, you can't have two two guys having the same song. They also did obscure Nielsen ratings for obscure oh, like games. We, oh, we did that. Oh, like college football. Like they did three. Point two. I, I think they should have done a three four. And they went down the whole thing. Oh, we just done oh, I love oh. that stuff. Oh, I love that. Stuff. I got to get on a train, oh. but I, really fast. Uh, I, I diehard Knicks fan. I'm done. It'd be better. Dan, How many Tom, more Dan, years Tony do I have is a to good wait? Coach. How many more years do I have to wait? 2010. And when is uh, when are they shipping Marbury out? I think that will come to a conclusion next couple weeks. This yeah. can't go on like this. <laughs> yeah. Sooner or later. <laughs> 
Yeah, all right. Guys, you, thanks you, for having me. You're, here's the thing. Hey, you're, please. You're, thanks for coming in, man. You're, I'm sure Mike is a very passionate guy, too, but you came off like the really passionate sports fan. It was interesting. It was we just very, express it in different ways. That's why the hell is successful. to listen to. That's why uh, it's like Satellite really stole you. From, from, I mean, they stole like oh, a yeah, major player in New York radio. So I, I just think it's great, man. I really do. I, I appreciate I it's that. Radio. I really do. You're trying to well. uh, uh, tell everybody uh, what what this channel yeah. is. One twenty three on Sirius, one forty four on XM. Wait, I got mm -hmm. a promo cool. for a show. I'm gonna oh. miss that show. Oh, oh God! That's a nice God. promo. Oh, you I, I, a I, I wanted to say I didn't listen this morning. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I, I didn't think it was. You. Yeah. You are a I couldn't. Singer. I couldn't listen to the calls this morning. Oh, it's, it's, I didn't want to listen. Um, uh, so what I'm, you know, what Doug, I'm one be guy doing today is, said, because I'm going to break the mood here, because you're going to make oh, me cry. No, I'm never going to forget it. Um, two for two, I got One guy said today that we would like the breakup of the Beatles. Uh, Eddie told me when I was, we I, know, in. I was in the Jersey said, Shore doing that August 15th. Be comfortable, because oh, the guy God. said you were John. And I said, oh, good, as long as Dog was Ringo. See, I got mad at that. Because Mike really believes he was uh, John Lennon, and I'm like, F yeah, stop. That was a tough comparison. Stop. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have to give you a Ringo. He could have given you Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least on Mike. You know, Ringo, Jesus. Uh, yeah. At least he didn't give you George. Jimmy's funny. Oh, yeah, of course he is. <laughs> Get his book, too. He's got a book called... Uh, yeah, I see that. Let me have it over there. Why don't you uh, sign it for me? Tonight, for I, don't know. I don't know if you should be reading I Hate Your Guts. I don't know. Uh, you know what? He may not know. agree with a lot of it, but uh, I go to... Uh, I, this, I go he to takes some I miss very strongly in this. He takes oh, some shots. Good for you. Yeah. He takes some shots. Not at these people. guys. No, not at you. Of course not. But I'm signing tonight at uh, uh, Borders or is it Barnes and Noble in uh, Car Place? Uh, Car Place in oh, Long that's Island. A good story. Yeah, yeah, sure. 7 p.m. and uh, Anthony will be there. And good for you, uh, Old Country Road. Show him some support. Old Country oh, Road. We have lines there. at the building for that. That's it's close enough to my house. Yeah, so yeah, yeah we do very well. Oh, those really books great. do well. Our fans are great. No, yeah, they are very loyal. Great. They do a Maniacs. wonderful job. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna do line of the day. I really got to hit a train. But yeah, we gotta get out of here. Does line of the day? Uh, you know, you do the meetings from home. Webex.com. Yeah, whole meetings. It's a you know video. Video conference. conferencing. It's but great. We use it for other things, but some people <laughs> actually use it for good th good things. And I love this studio. Boy, oh, hey, right. they're, they're, anytime. They're, they're taking it away from us. We'll see how long. Yeah, uh, maybe not for a while. We'll maybe keeps, they don't want to do construction we'll yet. We'll keep screwing things up. Uh, That's so going to take serious a while to get that organized. Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. No kidding. <laughs> I, don't think we're, I don't know if we're ready to go over there yet. Wouldn't surprise me. On a full-time basis. Maybe they'll move everybody from over there <laughs> to these little offices here to save a few bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right, Russo, the, uh, the channel again. 123, 144. Yeah, Two just, to seven every day. That Mad Dog channel probably in about a month. Yeah, give him, uh, give him a shot, seriously, uh, if you're a sports oh, fan thanks, especially. Pal. Absolutely. Oh, All right. Uh, he'll be back. Hey, boys. We got a bail. We'll see you guys soon. Later. Anthony.